Imagine yourself in an old dusty library filled with ancient books and cryptic maps. The air is heavy with a sense of mystique and the faint scent of parchment. Here, in the heart of this forgotten world, a mystery begins to unfold. Our protagonist, a seasoned explorer with an insatiable appetite for the unknown, stumbles upon a peculiar note hidden within the weathered pages of a long-abandoned manuscript. It reads, I speak without a mouth and hear without ears. I have no body, but I come alive with the wind. What am I? A riddle, it seems, is the first key to unlocking a hidden treasure. But what could the answer be? A cryptic creature? An enigmatic element? Or perhaps something even more elusive? What could this mysterious entity be? Hold on to your guesses, we will reveal the answer shortly. Our journey takes us next to the hot sands of Egypt, at the foot of the mighty Sphinx. This legendary creature with the body of a lion and the head of a human, is not just a marvel of ancient architecture, it is also a gatekeeper of mysteries and a teller of riddles. Our protagonist faced with the Sphinx's challenge is given a riddle as a test, a riddle that has puzzled many who dared to seek the Sphinx's wisdom. Listen closely, the riddle is, the more you take, the more you leave behind. What am I? A curious conundrum, isn't it? It's a riddle that demands a keen mind and a sharp wit. It calls for us to look beyond the obvious and delve into the realm of abstract thought, can you outsmart the Sphinx and solve this riddle? Keep your answers ready. Our final stop is a hidden cave, with a single clue etched onto its walls. This is where the mystery intensifies, where the riddle becomes more complex, yet equally intriguing. It's time to unravel the last piece of this enigmatic puzzle. Here it is. A riddle that's been waiting for us in the shadows of this cave. A riddle which holds the key to our grand treasure. Listen carefully, for every word is a clue. It goes like this. I am taken from a mine, and shut up in a wooden case, from which I am never released and yet I am used by almost every person. What am I? A mine, a wooden case, a captive yet essential entity. These are the pieces of this puzzle, your final challenge. Let your mind wander, let it connect the dots, the final clue to our grand treasure. Can you crack it? Keep your answers on hand. Now it's time to unveil the secrets, to see if you've solved the riddles correctly. Let's start with the first riddle. The answer is an echo. Here's why. An echo is a reflection of sound, reaching the listener some time after the original sound. It's the only thing that can speak without a tongue, repeat your words without thinking, and follow you around without moving. Quite a clever trick, isn't it? Moving on to the second riddle. The answer is footsteps. It's a simple, yet profound answer. Footsteps are indeed something you can hear but not see or touch. They leave an imprint, a trace of where you've been, but you can't hold them in your hand. They're a record of your journey, echoing in the silence. Finally, the answer to the third riddle is, a pencil. A pencil indeed has all the qualities mentioned in the riddle. It makes marks that can be seen, but not felt. When it's sharp, it provides clear lines. When it's dull, it leaves a vague mark. And yes, it can indeed turn everything around by erasing what it has created, giving you a clean slate to start anew. Each of these riddles has a unique secret embedded within them. A hidden treasure waiting to be unlocked by those clever enough to decipher their meaning. They test not only your knowledge but your ability to think outside the box, to see connections where others might see none. Congratulations if you've managed to solve these riddles. You've successfully navigated the mystery of Riddle Realm. You've shown your ability to delve deep into the world of riddles, to unravel the secrets hidden in plain sight. But this is just the beginning. There are countless more riddles waiting to be solved, countless more secrets waiting to be unveiled. So. Don't rest on your laurels just yet. Keep challenging yourself, keep pushing your boundaries. Until next time, keep your mind sharp and your wits about you.